how to fix Google Play payment error. If Google Play just declined your payment, don't panic. There are 20 plus different error codes and I'm going to show you how to fix every single one in the next two minutes. Whether you're seeing OR, CC, S, E, H, O5, or O4, or any other code, I've got you covered. So let's fix this right now. Okay, so we will start with the most common error codes and fixes. If you receive error code OR-CCSEH-05, this is a card declined by bank. So what you want to do is you want to open up your banking app and check if the transaction was flagged as fraud. Uh, you want to go in there and check for notifications to approve the transaction or contact bank. Try payments again in Google Play. An alternative fix is to use a different payment method temporarily, enable international transactions if buying from a different region, and uh, check if card has valid uh, spending limit uh, reached. Next, if you get the error code OR, CCSEH04. Now this means you have an invalid CVV or card details. So you have a card verification failed. To fix this, you typically open up Play Store, then tap on the profile icon, click on payments and subscriptions, then payment methods. And in here you want to remove the card showing the error. I don't have any card at at the moment. If you do, so remove them and then re-add the card with the exact details, check CVV, expiry date, and billing address, and try to purchase again. So make sure billing address matches exactly what your bank has on file. If you get error code 26, insufficient funds, what it means you don't have enough money in account. So open up your bank app, check your account balance, add funds to account, or use a different payment method. The common cause is pending transactions, reducing available balance. Okay, if you get the error code 25, expire card, then open up Play Store, and then tap on profile and here tap on payment method so we tap on payments and subscriptions and then tap on payments methods and from here you want to remove the expiry card and then add new card with updated expiry date and set it as the default payment method and after that, you can retry the purchase again. If you get ORCCISA02 Bank Fraud Protection. Now, what this means is that the bank flag transaction as suspicious. So to fix it, you want to call your bank immediately. Uh, the number on the back of the card and verify your Google Play transaction is legitimate. Ask them to approve it. Then after that, wait for around 5 to 10 minutes and you can try the payment again from Play Store. So why does this happen? Uh, first time large purchase, unusual spending pattern or international transaction can cause this error. And if you get the error, ORCCSPIP02, it is related to bank fraud protection. Now this will temporarily block from multiple failed attempts. To uh, fix this, you just have to wait it out. Stop trying to make payments. Wait for 24 to 48 hours and clear Play Store cash and try again after the waiting period. I will show you a bit later on how you can clear the Play Store cash. Now don't keep attempting. This will just simply extend the block period. If you get the error code OR TAPSH08. This is transaction timeout. So, what it means is payment processing took too long. 
For this fix, you need to check the internet connections, switch Wi-Fi on or off. You may want to turn on mobile data, so turn on mobile data and try mobile data instead. Or you can simply just restart your Wi-Fi, make sure you have a good uh, Wi-Fi connections. Uh, close Google Play Store completely, so simply uh, close that completely and reopen Google Play Store. You also may want to restart your phone and try payments again with stable connection. To prevent this from keeps happening, you want to try uh, use strong and stable internet for payments. For error code ORIEH01, it is internal server error. So what it means is Google Payment Servers having issues. Okay, so to uh, fix this error, you will just simply have to wait for around to 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, this is a server side issues. Uh, you can also try to clear uh, Play Store cache by going into settings and then apps. So we go down and then tap on apps then Google Play Store, so we can type in Play Store. So tap on Google Play Store, and from here, tap on Clear Cache. So we tap on Storage, and then tap on Clear Cache. So tap on that, and then try the payment again, and see how you go. If you get the error, ORDFDW05, this is update required so you need to update Google Play Store so to do that you can open up Play Store tap on the profile icon then we go down and tap on settings then tap on about from here scroll down and tap on update Play Store and that's it after that wait for the update to complete restart your phone and try the payment again you may also want to update Google Play Services from Settings, Apps, and Google Play Services. So go into Settings, and then we scroll down, and tap on Apps, and then Google Play. So Google Play Services, and from here we can uh, check and make sure you update all your Google Play Services. If you get the error code DF, DF, EIH, 01, this is a server retrieval or subscription conflict. So what it means is subscription sync issue or server communication problem uh, you are, that you are having on your device. So here to fix it, you go in and clear uh, the data uh, from Google Play Store. To do that, you swipe down, tap on settings, then scroll down and tap on apps. In here, go down and tap on Google Play Store. And then tap on storage and then tap on clear cache and then clear data. So tap on that and then restart the phone. So I'm just going to cancel because I don't want to clear data now. But tap on clear data and then restart the phone. Sign back into Play Store and try your payment again. Alternatively, you can try to remove and re add your Google account. You can do that from settings, account, Google and then remove your account and then restart the phone, add the, add the account back in and then try the payment. Okay, so toast fix are for specific errors. Uh, and next I will show you the universal fixes that you uh, can use that generally uh, help uh, fix around 60% of the errors and some are solved within 50% of the errors. Okay, so uh, the next one is you can try to clear play um, Clear Play Store cache and data. So you scroll down at the top and tap on settings. In settings, scroll down and tap on apps. Then we tap on Google Play Store. So scroll down and tap on Google Play Store. In here, tap on storage. And from here, tap on clear cache. And if it still fail, you can tap on clear, da clear data and then tap on delete. After that, we start the phone, then open Play Store, and if needed, you need to sign in, and then try the payment again. 
Doing this will fix 60% of the payment errors. Okay, fix number two is to update Play Store and Play Services. So you want to open up Play Store, then tap on the profile icon at the top, go down and tap on settings, then tap on about and scroll down and tap on update Play Store. So if there is a new update, then go ahead and update. Now this will fix around 40% of the payment errors. So just tap on that to update the Play Store. And fix number three is to remove and we add payment method. Now you want to open up Play Store and then go into profile icon. Then tap on payments and subscriptions. Then tap on payment methods. In here, tap your card to remove. So if you have a card added here, just tap on the card and then select removed. And then after that, you can tap, uh, add, uh, add a new payments method, add a credit or a debit card, then enter in uh, all the details such as the card number. And you want to um, add in payments, um, expired date, sorry. So you want to add in expired date, CVV, the three digit code on the back, and the billing address, exact match with the bank. And then save and try to purchase again. Fix number four is to check Google Payment settings. So you want to open up a web browser and go to pay.google.com or wallet.google.com. So you can type in pay.google.com and then go. And here you want to open up Google Wallet. If it asks you to sign in, then sign in to uh, your Google account. And then we go to check payment method. So add in payment method. If you already have a payment method listed, then just check, remove any outdated or duplicate uh, cards. And then you need to verify the primary payment method is correct and try to purchase on that phone again. So why would this method works? Uh, it will sync payments across uh, the payment information across all Google services. Fix number five is to disable VPN and proxy. So turn off any VPN apps and to remove the VPN uh, configuration, you slow, uh, swipe down, then tap on settings. In here, go down and tap on connections and tap on more connection settings. And here, tap on VPN. If you have an active VPN connection, try to disconnect or simply disable it and disable any proxy settings as well. After that, try payment with your real location. So why this uh, happens? Because Google blocks payments from suspicious locations uh, when you are, uh, such as when you are using VPNs. Fix number six is to factory reset Google Play Store. Uh, to do this, you swipe down at the top and tap on settings. Then we scroll down and tap on apps. After that, we go and look for Google Play Store. So scroll down and find Google Play Store. Then tap on the more button, tap on uninstall updates, and then tap on the OK to confirm the uninstall. After that, we start your phone. Play Store will auto update to the latest version. After that, you can try the payment again. So you would use this when all other fixes failed. Okay, so hopefully after all that, uh, hopefully one of the uh, solutions in here will help you fix the uh, Google Play Store payments error. Thank you for watching this video.